Welcome back to Dynatech Innovations. I'm Subin Mohammed Selim, and in this video, we will explore in depth about magnetometry using drone based solutions. Let's start with the basics. Magnetometry, at its core, is a science of measuring and interpreting magnetic fields. Magnetometry relies on magnetometer devices that detect and measure magnetic fields. These fields are produced by various sources, including natural elements like rocks and minerals, archaeological artifacts, or man made structures. By measuring these fields, magnetometry helps us uncover valuable information about Earth's subsurface and hidden structures. With the help of a drone-based magnetometer solution, we can conduct magnetic surveys from the air. This opens up a world of possibilities. As we all know, drones offer unparalleled efficiency, covering larger areas in a fraction of the time it would take for traditional methods. They can access remote or challenging terrains, providing data from areas previously inaccessible. Drones are not only faster and more cost-effective, but also safer. They eliminate the need for personnel to work in hazardous environments. Drones can fly at different altitudes and speeds, allowing for customizable survey parameters based on project requirements. The high-resolution data they provide leads to more accurate results. Drone-based magnetometry has found applications in a wide range of fields. The solution can be used to find unexploded ordnance and landmines in metal casings. It can be used to detect tri-metal and ground engagement tools. In archaeology, it is used to discover hidden ruins or artifacts. In geology, it helps in mineral exploration and mapping. In environmental studies, it aids in detecting pollution or monitoring changes in the Earth's magnetic field and identify abundant infrastructures such as pipes, shielded cables, storage tanks, and wells. Okay, now coming to the solution, let's look what comes with SPH Engineering's magnetometry solution. Firstly, we have the main sensor, the magnetometer itself. This is the Magnimbus Atomic Total Field Magnetometer. It comes with a Q spin sensor which has a dynamic range of 1000 nano tesla to 150,000 nano tesla. Also, the interesting fact about the design is this has a self foldable design which makes the takeoff and landing of the drone easier. Moreover, you don't have to worry about the sensor hitting any obstacles in the way since it can fold by itself as mentioned already and hence you can fly with a very low clearance to the ground as well and then there is the universal payload mount to attach the magnetometer to the drone and here are the other sensors we have the laser ultimeter for true terrain following and uh, this is uh, an, a range finder to be precise and here we have a radar obstacle sensor which uh, senses the obstacles in the way of the drone and finally this is a skyhub onboard computer this is the heart of the solution which integrates all the sensors to the drone system Now, as we have discussed uh, what are the contents of the solutions, let's take a look at how the system is connected to the drone. Let's begin by attaching the universal payload mount. When you place it on a flat surface, you can notice that one pair of legs are shorter and this shorter side goes over the gimbal attachment at the bottom of the drone. Next, the Skyhub is attached to the landing gear and the laser ultimator comes next below the sky hub facing downwards. The radar obstacle avoidance sensor is attached to the top of the drone using the screws provided. To attach the magnetometer, the attachment on the universal mount is removed and then the magnetometer is slided into position and secure it tightly using the screw provided. The cable connector is attached to the top of the drone and secure it tightly. The cable is then connected to the port on the drone over here. The other end of the port goes to the sky hub as shown. Once all the attachments are completed, the cables are connected as per the color codings provided. Once the integration is complete, the drone is set and ready for the mission. 
the next step is to plan the route for the mission we use the UGCS flight planning software we also require the UGCS custom payload monitor let's open both the softwares first the UGCS flight planning then the UGCS custom payload monitor and let's keep them side by side press the refresh button in the custom payload monitor and link it to the drone start the custom payload monitor and now we can see that all the readings from all the sensors attached has been shown here now let's create the new route select the drone set the initial speed to a low value I'll go for 2 meter per second over here let's select the area to be scanned and using the mouse we can choose the area required to be surveyed now adjust the parameters as shown over here then let's add the first waypoint again adjust the parameters after that we can see the path has been created let's adjust the area to form a uniform and cleaner line of path now we have a uniform and cleaner lines after that let's add the last waypoint and this would be the point where the drone will be coming back and hovering after completing the mission again set the parameters for the last waypoint as well once that's complete let's upload the mission to the drone the upload is now complete and the drone is ready for the mission now that the drone is set and the flight is planned and uploaded to the drone we can continue with the mission okay now the important point to be remembered is that you must take off and land the drone manually this is to avoid any damage that might be caused to the magnetometer payload at the bottom of the drone here I have taken off the drone manually and then moving it to the first waypoint from there you can activate the terrain following when the terrain following is activated the drone will follow the path on its own and complete the mission Once the mission is completed, the drone will return to the last waypoint provided. From there, you can switch off the terrain following and take the manual control to land the aircraft safely. Here are some aerial shots of the plane grass field where we had conducted the test. And once the mission is complete, we import the data collected by the magnetometer from the sky hub. This data is used to achieve a visual representation of the magnetic field present in our this visibly plane survey region. We process the data with the help of the OISS Monday software. 
and a big thanks to the SPH engineering team for processing the data we had collected. Okay, now here is the processed data and it can be viewed in both 2D and 3D formats. In this 2D view, we can see that some regions are colored different from most of the land. These regions represent the anomalies recorded during the flight. These anomalies indicate the presence or difference in magnetic field at those regions and obviously the presence of magnetic field means that there are materials that produces magnetic field present in this survey region and they might be either worn or buried in the ground. Materials that produces these anomalies might be either metals or minerals with magnetic properties or underlying current carrying cables. The strength of these anomalies is represented by different colors. The coordinate of each point can be viewed over here. And now to better understand the strength of these materials, we can now shift to the 3D format. This is the 3D view and we can observe that certain anomalies are smaller in size than some other of the anomalies and some have higher peaks compared to the others and higher the peak means higher is the anomaly strength recorded by the magnetometer sensor and by this data we can get an idea of the size of the material or how deep it is buried inside the ground for example this point over here has the highest peak and the largest size compared to this one over here which is having a smaller peak and by the position of the center of the anomalies we can have the possible idea of the location of the materials as well so in short this process data allows you to locate the magnetic material present in the area thus making excavation or mining of metals and minerals easier or for geological study of the region. Overall, the drone-based magnetometer solution offers a reliable, efficient and safe method for conducting magnetic field surveys, making it an invaluable tool for researchers, geologists, archaeologists and environmental scientists alike. The solution is easy to deploy and offers plenty of advantages over traditional methods of magnetometry and an addition to how drones are revolutionizing how we explore and understand our world. As always, feel free to contact us on the phone number provided or mail us for any queries or purchase support. Stay connected to our social media handles for more interesting drone contents. Thank you, have a good day, bye.